The AI and robotics industry is expanding at an insane rate. Let's check out some of the best uses for these robots. Number 6. Physical Intimacy Robots in Care and Therapy People in retirement and nursing homes, like everyone else, desire tenderness and physical intimacy. However, the semi-public situation makes it difficult for them to fulfill this wish. In addition, it may be harder to find a suitable partner, or they may find it difficult to have a relationship for mental or physical reasons. People who live at home can have the same problems. Physical intimacy may be easier and more discreet than for the residents of a care home, but some elderly and disabled people may be limited in their options there. Love dolls can offer support and satisfaction, however, their presence and the explicitness of their design could be off-putting for caregivers, relatives of the persons in need of care, and the persons in need of care themselves, especially in a more conservative environment. It must also be noted that sexuality is often associated with taboos among the elderly and disabled. Such taboos can of course be broken, not least by the use of love dolls. Physical assistance functions could be added to pre-existing care robots. It does not necessarily have to be about partner sexuality. Rather, the robots could facilitate self-pleasure, clean and hand out toys or read erotic texts. At the same time, they could continue to perform their original tasks. A problem could be the technical design or design that is inappropriate for this context. For example, neither a robot arm appears stimulating at first glance, nor is a care robot that resembles a monkey or a bear. Number 5. Companion Robots Today, social robots that are predominantly intended as companions still lack a major market because people don't see why they would want one. But for those of us who work in human-robot interaction, it's clear people can value a robot primarily for its companionship. Take the robot Astro, named after the dog in the classic science fiction cartoon The Jetsons. It is also built to interact on a social level. It has animated eyes, makes adorable sounds, and has killer dance moves. It's no small feat to design these features. This selling point is worrisome. Robots equipped with cameras, microphones, and sensors have the ability to send information back to their companies. This data can be shared with law enforcement, advertisers, and other third parties. Many robots also use facial recognition, which is known to embed racial biases. But even if companies like Amazon put steps in place to protect user privacy, home surveillance simply isn't the ideal application for a robot like Astro. We also have the example of Jibo, a social robot launched in 2017. When the Pixar lamp reminiscent countertop robot couldn't make it commercially, many people who had a Jibo in their lives found themselves, without exaggeration, emotionally devastated. They wrote letters, formed communities, and grieved the loss of their robot friend. Number 4. Entertainment Female robots are becoming increasingly popular in the entertainment industry. They can be used as performers, interactive exhibits, and even as personal assistants for VIPs at events. These robots can be programmed to dance, sing, and even play musical instruments. They can be used as part of a live performance or as part of an immersive show. Plus, they are also utilized as a part of interactive exhibits or attractions in theme parks or other entertainment venues. For example, a robot designed to look like a popular movie character could interact with guests and provide an engaging experience. Another potential use sometime in the near future can be introducing female robots to movies. These robots can be used as actors or characters in movies and television shows. For example, a robot might be designed to play a supporting role or as the lead character in a science fiction or futuristic drama. Take the robot Desdemona, who is a robot part of a band and uses AI technology to draw from a library of great artists, poets, scientists and writers to produce spontaneous AI-generated poetry using natural language processing-oriented neural networks. The band features professional musician and multi-instrumentalist CEO Diane Cruz, who had won several music awards and has toured internationally as a featured solo artist, guest artist, and lead saxophonist for the Seattle Women's Jazz Orchestra. Number 3. Robots in Teaching The introduction of robot teachers will have significant importance for teachers' roles and their professional identity as human teachers move from being often solitary sources of learning to becoming teaching and learning managers who need to provide learning opportunities creatively. Social robots like these are attractive in a number of ways. Their lifelike behavior and their social responsiveness speak to us, and this has not gone unnoticed by educators. In the most basic sense, robots appeal to a large audience and can be used to make teaching more engaging. 
But beyond this short-term attraction, perhaps the largest appeal of robots is that they offer the potential for taking over some of the tasks of the teacher. While financial resources put a limit on the amount of time teachers can spend on pupils, robots are relatively cheap and could potentially be used to teach and tutor small groups, with, in the ideal case, each learner being assigned their own robot tutor. Tutoring, that is, the teaching of only one learner or a small group of learners, is known to be one of the most effective forms of teaching. Number 2. Female Healthcare Robots Female robots are becoming pretty common in the healthcare industry as they can provide a range of services and support to patients and healthcare professionals. They can be used as personal assistants to help patients with tasks such as taking their medication, monitoring vital signs, and even providing emotional support. Female robots are also being used to assist surgeons in minimally invasive surgical procedures such as laparoscopy and can provide precision and accuracy that human hands may not achieve. Additionally, robotic surgery decreases blood loss, hospital stays, and recovery times of patients. Female robots can also be used as telemedicine assistants, allowing doctors to remotely monitor and consult with patients. They can also provide remote consultations for patients in remote areas with limited access to healthcare. For example, take one of the robots that the Hong Kong team behind the celebrity humanoid robot, Sophia, launched. The female robot, Grace, is targeted at the healthcare market and designed to interact with the elderly and those isolated during a pandemic. Dressed in a blue nurse's uniform, Grace has Asian features, collar-length brown hair, and a thermal camera in her chest to take her temperature and measure her responsiveness. Number 1. Female Robots in the Service Industry Female robots are increasingly being used in the service industry to provide customer service, perform repetitive tasks, and improve efficiency. In the hospitality sector, female robots can be used to provide customer service and perform tasks such as room service, cleaning, and concierge services. Similarly, in retail stores, female robots can provide customer service, answer questions, and provide information about products. They can also be used in banks and other financial institutions to assist customers with banking transactions. Female robots can also be used for cleaning and maintenance tasks such as vacuuming, mopping, and dusting. This can free up human staff to focus on more complex tasks. Furthermore, in the food and beverage service sector, female robots can be used to serve food and beverages in restaurants and other food service businesses, reducing wait times and improving efficiency. People are more comfortable talking to female rather than male robots working in service roles in hotels, according to new research. The study, which surveyed about 170 people on hypothetical service robot scenarios, also found that the preference was stronger when the robots were described as having more human features. That's all for today's video. See you next time.